Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you three good tools for creating rubrics, including one tool that uses AI. Because doesn't everything use AI these days? Let's go ahead and take a look at what they are. First of all, one that is not at all AI and has been around for a long time. In fact, it was one of the very first things I ever wrote about on freetechforteachers.com, and that is Rubistar's Rubric Tool. And it's still around, you can still use it for free, still a great option for making a basic rubric. Let's say I want one for writing. I'll click on that writing button and I'm going to create an essay, persuasive essay rubric. Well, I'll just go in here, fill in this information, my name, and give it a little title, persuasive essay for 2023 main election season and I'll put in the zip code that I'm using it in and we're going to say this is temporary now if I want to keep it for a longer period of time and come back and use it or modify it later I'll say no it's permanent and in which case I'll be prompted to create a free username and uh, be able to go back in and edit later. But for now, let's leave this as temporary. And this has not changed at all in the last 16 years. It still works the exact same way as it did when I first wrote about it 16 years ago, seven, almost 17 years ago now. And I'm gonna start up here and say, I wanna start with our attention grabber. And it'll fill in some placeholder text for me, some suggested text that I can use. And if I want to edit it, that I can. You can see I can just click on the box and it will change it out. Now, if I want to change the scoring system from that 4321 and make it a point-based system of like 25, 20, 15, and let's say 10, I could do it that way as well. Let's choose something else, position statement. And now let's say support for position. And we're going to say evidence and examples. And finally, grammar and spelling, followed by capitalization and punctuation. Now you can see, I could keep going and going and going and, and put all of those in there, but I don't need all those things I just want these first handful that I've chosen up there. And now let's go ahead and submit and preview my rubric. And if I like it, we'll see it there. And let's go ahead and print it. And you can see how long Rubistar has been around and available. It still has the Netscape Navigator icon on the page. Let's go ahead though and just print my rubric and there it is and I can just hit control P or command P on my keyboard and I can print that out. Now let's go to something that's slightly more modern that's quick rubric and we'll just click on create and here you're just going to fill in your rubric title perhaps I'll call this one again persuasive essay this is the rubric we'll use for grading fall 2023 persuasive essays about the or regarding main elections and we can see we can put in our point our point system over there and we can go in and click on that field and start writing and let's say introduction and position statement and we'll put in here support slash use of evidence conclusion now I can go in and fill in all of these fields with descriptors. If I need more space, 
Perhaps I want to have another field in my rubric. I'll add a row. If I want to have, let's say, a fourth column, a fourth option on the right-hand side, well, I'll go and fill that in. And let's say, not meeting standard. I don't know. And you'll see the point, the point value is automatically adjusted for me. Then I can save that rubric. Say I'm a new user and sign in, and then I can print that out. And I have a more detailed quick rubric video tutorial linked up in the description down below. Now, our third option, and this is the option that includes AI, and that's in Google Sheets. I have an untitled Google spreadsheet here, and we're going to use AI in Google Sheets to create a rubric. Now, I'll go to the Insert menu to do this and then go all the way down to the option for help me organize and i'm going to say to google in the help me organize over here that i want to create a rubric for persuasive essays and now we'll click create and we'll see what Google creates for us to add into the spreadsheet. And we'll see here, this is what Google suggested. Now, if I like this suggestion, I'll go ahead and insert that into my spreadsheet. Now, I will need to go in and reformat this a bit, but... I have a good start to my rubric right here in that my thesis statement has a 4, 3, 2, 1 and a description over here for 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then we have the same thing for organization, use of evidence, and style and mechanics, right? So that's a good start for creating a rubric in Google Spreadsheets. Now, I should point out while I'm here in Google Spreadsheets that Alice Keeler has a nice little rubric add-on that you can use. You can find that where you find all other Google Sheets add-ons. And I'll select Show Sidebar over here. And we'll pull that up. And we can create a scoring rubric. And when I do so, it's going to create a new sheet for me. And you'll see here, I can now go in and fill in the descriptions in the description fields that are labeled there. So that's another option for creating a rubric in Google Sheets. As always, for more things like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.